is good to see you again. Hello, 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 good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hello, copyright, hello, Clem. How are you doing? Hope you're all having a good day. One more day to the weekend, right? Ah, let's do the usual thing where I slowly fade out the music and get into the game. What were we doing? What's up next? I guess we've got a supply rate coming up here. Um, got the alien facility, that's already boosted. I guess not much else happening. So let's just spin the clock. And run a, run a casual supply right here. Oh, that was the Advent Construction Unit. I remember. So wait, since... How does this work with Advent Strength? Um, hello, Raging Fury. Since this is not actually moving strength from one region to another, if we kill that, does it reduce strength here in this region? I guess we just have to for science this. Baseless detected. Okay. Um, I think I will just not care about faceless missions. It's not much in terms of corpses that we need. Uh, we don't need XP on a Master Sergeant. This is just... Just a risk to get get injured by a yellow alert shot or something. So we'll just let the faceless expire. Uh is that crazy it's also here? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Uh I think you need to get some training. Yeah. Um Priority message coming through, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Put yeah. It on now. No, no chosen. Permanent fresh. So far, have left many wondering if we have made the right. Three fist attack of hostile target Musa attacks with mid range. Oh boy. Blade storm on berserkers. Okay, that could be interesting. More ability points, yeah. I think we could also reasonably do some of these these um, stat boost things if we really think like someone needs a little bit more aim. Who keeps missing their shots?
how long do they take? So four days? You know what? Yeah, let's get extra aim on our heavy. Sure, why not? My followers will lead this action to victory. Yeah, spreadsheet says no strength change. So you can remember seven here, seven there, and three there. And the other two are liberated. Let's see if the spreadsheet is correct. Uh, we've got a sector pot, I'm an ice purger. I haven't seen any purge guys lately. Oh, well, on, on, on supply rates, they don't seem to show up. Got a few corpses from a troop column here and there. Uh, do we do a, a thing? A predict prediction. First mission of a night, some some supply raid with twenty something enemies, and I didn't even look at the squad. Resistance forces disabled an advent transport near here, and they've left the gear for us to seize. We expect the aliens are going to move to recover the transport, but it's worth the risk to investigate. We'll need to secure the site, eliminate any hostile resistance, and recover the item. Menace 1-5, the disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Right. Um... Not a good map for high ground, that's for sure. Glory to the firstborn. I mean the whole zoom out thing. Sometimes you have like a little hill in this in this little corner of the map, but there's nothing here. And this is a logging site, so no building. Oof, okay, so no death from above today. A little bit closer. All right, all right. That's stay. Uh, that's that's the big boys. It's probably something we wanna we wanna murder. I mean, we wanna murder everything here, but. Yeah, yeah. They sure like to have ammo pips. Heading to that location. Belay that remark. Moving to your mark. Yeah, terrain is being destroyed. Somebody is immune to something over there. <laughs> now, do we ambush on this group? Um, I kinda. Ooh, my only scout really is, is upstairs, and she's like over here. We saw some sort of immune message over there, so something exploded and didn't damage somebody. Time to motor. Get you all the way over there? Okay, and you also see something. Enemy patrol on the move. Now, hmm. 
I, I know I should just engage these guys, kill them, move on with my life. But I also think, hey, maybe, maybe they move here and they move there and then we can have a big, big butter boom in the center. It's way more fun. Uh, you know, let's, let's not rush things. Let's take a look what exactly we have here. Mac, Ice Purger, another Mac, Spectre. Maybe we'll have a little better boom here. Headed there now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Relay that remark. Watching for activity. If you actually a little bit closer here now, now that's okay. No. Je suis dessus. Okay. I think that that group there are moved away from. No, they're moving. They're moving. Making sure I have proper good line of sight. So, I mean... Do the mechs don't care about this? Do the devastators care about this? Flashbang resistance, blah 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 blah. No, probably. Let's keep the rocket, flamethrower this, put a kill zone on top. Part of me wants to do a fancy kill zone. In case that group from the left joins this party. Do this. Oh, they have black black flame grenades, right? But I don't think I'm not even sure anyone here is psionically gifted. No, I don't know. No psionics in this team. Um, sure, no, I mean, it's it's optional. You don't have to shoot just because you're on Overwatch and have them in the kill, in your kill zone. But we're not, we're not, we're not that strict here. Okay, I'm just run that Overwatch. Oh, hang on. I was going to say, I'm not even sure. <laughs> yes, it's an assault. No, he doesn't have lightning reflexes because mod jam. Um, it's fine. Nobody's points were lost. 
Uh, how are we looking here? 60. Let's let's actually do one of those. Get some. Get you a fresh pair of shields and myself a fresh pair of pants. Right. So for the first one, I didn't need slam fire because you know close encounters, and the second one didn't crit. Ah, XCOM. Let's, let's wait with you. Ideally, I don't want to use you. Oh, hang on. How, how about we just kill somebody with sniping? <laughs> Kill this, then you kill this. I definitely got that one. So you have the opportunity to come back here. They look... do they look chill? He doesn't look chill. They're probably on alert now. Moving to position. I'm on the move. Je reste en observation. Hey, you really want to get away from here, huh? Apples, hello. How you doing? Okay, we know that there's some line of sh side shenanigans going on with the top of this car. Kind of thinking... How do we want to utilize this illogical person here? In here, With enemies, you know where they stand. set you on overwatch. So, what do we have? This is all kind of basic, so why don't we just fire a basic rocket over there? Because we don't have. We do have Javelin. That's too far for Javelin rockets. No, it's just non aside shenanigans. Alright. Um, Alright. Someone explained this to me. Basic rocket, right? That's coming with the rocket launcher. Can't go further than that. If I go for the shredder rocket, <laughs> it's like, yeah, where do we want it? Uh, there are somewhere halfway across the map? Sure, no problem. Why would they have inconsistent ranges? You don't have Javelin, so that's kind of clear, but... Oh, screw it. Then we just shredder them, and then we don't have Shredstorm Rocket for whatever comes next. Let's see if I care. Okay. 
same preceded me, or was I too quick for it? Three hits, three crits. I'm okay with that. What's my follow-up? Uh, I guess I can run and gun you in. Kill that guy, and then we have to... Hopefully, get a... Monster. Gotta kill these scumbags first. I'm in motion. Get a nice... Sniper shot or something on the... Um, on the Andy there. Casual hit for 55, as you do. I mean, alternatively, I can just kill the Andy this way and then reconcile you. Yeah, you know. Can you take care of the shell? Don't some, you know, some snipers, uh, even when they're looking through scope, have like a, a flap they put over their eyes, their, their eye that they're not using for aiming sometimes? I think I've seen that like, um, Winter Olympics, Bytelon. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I know you can you lose your your three D vision if you only use one eye, but at the distance, I think it doesn't matter. I guess. Confirmed. It's heavier than it looks. Uh, I guess you can pick up that loot here. Got it. Roger that. Slowly Don't creep forward. I'm in command, every mission's a suicide mission. You address me? It would be wise I'll handle to defend it. here. Affirmative, je couvre la zone. Probably wanna, um, instead of moving down the, the road, wanna scout to the right, because I think I've multiple times run into enemies like in this area. At least a little bit. Mina makes me feel that there's nothing here. Might even be able to pull up all the way to the to the logging yard there. Affirmative. 
Location confirmed. What's over there? Makes me nervous. Let's just reload here. Blinking red lights. We've got something over here. This looks to be Come one cool. disturbingly erotic date. Some some sit wrap uh, with Max. I feel like there's a surprising large amount of of Max on this mission. Um, okay, it's four more. That puts us at nine left. Then after this group, there's probably a group here. Just just my gut feeling, right? Understood. Moving out. Looks like hostiles over here. Those are candidates for for my. I burn your rockets. Are you on the wrong side of the log pile? So I think we, we take this group first. Uh, how far are we away from getting problems? Fairly close, actually. We might just want to reposition a little bit in that direction, but for that we need to know where those mechs are. Let's bring you out again. Affirmative. Moving out. Exactly the vision I wanted to have. Starting to remind me a little bit of the um, the UFO mission of today, where it's like, I don't know, someone was a little bit too far around the corner and overwatching and activated what I didn't want to activate. If you say so. Watching for activity. We can hit that bullseye. The rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. Yeah, so this group, the mech group, and then it's just sector pot. Uh, yeah, the typical kind of... And fell down in slow motion. Um, okay. That was easier than expected. Okay. Yes, sir. 
I'll handle it. Hey, nothing too exciting here. Especially if you get the Saren rocket off on that on that those group. This group. That group. Those guys. Um that's pretty much done. I think I want to see the rest of them. Easier said than done, huh? Moving on target location. Rip it. Illogical. Now, where have I heard this name before? The Vanguard running over there is kind of unexpected. But they're all on fire, aren't they? Burning the poisoned and burning, yeah. Okay, and the other two are just waiting to be picked up. Isn't there a van further down the road that he could have guarded? Oh, I didn't need dedication, right? Only if he's on fire, he shouldn't CCS me. Anyway. Um, what's up here? Oh, okay. Uh, fresh ammo. That one's out of its misery. Don't need you for scouting here anymore. Well, the last group, okay. Would have been nice to still have our Shredder rocket, but you know. It is what it is. What a banger. Oh, hello, hello. No. All is in jeopardy. How dare he return fire? Are you serious? Trusting you here. Hello, beautiful. Out of my way. I am all right. Oh, hang on. He's immune to fire, right? But he's still poisoned, and so that's why he's not moving. Yeah, oops. This is fine. This is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, 
May I have your attention, please? This is fine. You're a master sergeant. Anyone who wants to just pick up that kill for me? Well, almost. Definitely want your overwatches. Well, theory, I would want your kill zone in that direction. But overwatches will be fine. How is it so hard to hit that guy? In this position we have a shot, so let's actually let's bring you here. I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. So we see them like in six tiles ish. Do we dare? I find it very erotic. They say Killzone has something. Yes, sir. Got it. Yeah? Heading out. That's so where you can uh, then slaughter anyone from a flank. Just need to find a position for you. Perfect. Couldn't have done it better myself. Ah, get over here. No, that's the wrong way. Oh, you bastards. Okay. So what's the proper punishment for people who ruin my kill zone? I'm going to set them on fire. We must not hesitate. Oh. Well, this way. High ground. Exciting, exciting. We've got high ground on the map. I'm on it. I understand. Je pense. Over there. Technically, we can use that at the side route in a second. If we can hit that full time, the rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Check me. Okay. So my sneaky bring the bring the uh, assault close. It's not gonna work. I get it. Yeah, 
That's the wrong key. I don't think we have that many shredder options here today on the menu. Yeah, we haven't destroyed any supply crates yet. Why is, why is that so small? Get a double burn there. Probably do you have shutter rounds? You have shutter rounds. So you kind of need to hit this guy, but I think. Um, can I flank you and flank the shield bearer at the same time? Probably not. Oh, because of this little wall. Unless I had like cover here somewhere where I lean out. Not even that will work. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> we care about the shield bearer. Do you have running gun available? I do. I do. Okay, so run gun the shield bearer. You kill the mutant elite. Red the sector pod, kill the sector pod, blow up the supplies. There we go. The whole plan. It's all coming together. Deflection. Got it. Boss, hold on to your guts while I rip out theirs. I'm in motion. Would be concerned about standing next to a burning car here? Nah. Right, hang on. Did I did I give you also shadow runs? No. I uh, was well, still the message from his shot. All right. Anyway, let's just slide him up. I wanted to give the kill to our Vipery friend. Didn't destroy the 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 the, the, the thing. I know. Bradford might get the impression we actually listened to him.
Well, clearly, that mutant is taking cover. There, like, I have no idea how I get to that cover. Like, this is this is impossible. I think we need to we need to use our blaster bomb here. There was no other way, Bradford. What a bully. That one should have played dead. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Alright. Um, while we're flying back to the Sky Ranger, Avenger, whatever, I'm gonna take a quick break here. I kind of forgot to get my water, get my other stuff. Not very well prepared. Also, oh, it's crashing. It's the end of... Okay, while the game is relaunching, I get my stuff sorted. So, hang in there, hang in there. I'll, I'll, throw, up, I'll throw up the music. I don't throw up myself. No, go through the pause screen and restart the game, and I'll I'll be two minutes.
Oh god. Oh god. What did I do here? <laughs> the, the game music and the, uh, the the break music running at the same time. Alright, let's, let's, let's turn this one off. Um, you're gonna find the scene. Come on, OBS, I believe in you. Well, it's the XCOM window you need to capture. No, uh, let's play capture this. Ah, why does why do things have to be so complicated? Ah. On the bright side. We get to hear that line again. Score one for our side. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements off the That's a clear yes on the prediction. ...development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. Look me actually selecting the right results for the prediction outcome. And we get supercharge. We also have 26 AP remaining. Uh, let's take resupply. And let's take the free smoke grenade. Sure. Ooh, sneak, snake promotion. Um, Vicious Bite deals major damage, plus poison, two points of rupture, free action of five turn cooldown. Seven to nine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Major damage. Seven to nine. Can almost almost out damage a ballistic shotgun. Um Eighty percent crit damage. Well, I mean, I guess you can uh, release bind, bite, and then rebind again, right? That should work. Let's we'll take a vicious bite. We're just gonna go full full venomous here and see if that leads us somewhere. All right, we're getting loot. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, we didn't have black flame grenades yet. Interesting. We might actually do that. To be an important step forward. Hey, Mr. Tygon. Black flame grenade analysis. Yes, please.
not the best timer for a liberation, I have to say. Um, let's also throw an Haven Advisor in here. You should be probably training something. Let's throw a logical in there. Cover your K. Let me check from here. Who doesn't have a Haven Advisor? New Brazil. New Brazil doesn't matter for that. Or we could actually. You know what? This is our farming region. We're gonna throw a scientist in there. Get a Haven Advisor into East Africa. Better because you're liberated. Yeah, the other two we should also find somebody. I remember I was doing the Haven Advisor thing, and then the raid came in on on Monday. And I thought, now this is boring. Let's let's do that another time. Let's see. No, I'm still doing it again. Um. Sure, fear will keep them in line. Ambush an enemy troop column. Well, how convenient. So we probably have to withdraw a bunch of Haven advisors. Setting course for Eastern European War. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me actually check here. Busy boys are all busy, all wounded. Holy crap, what happened with this squad? Okay. Um, okay. I guess we bring those guys back for another round. That means West Asia and India. New India doesn't even need a Haven Advisor, nothing ever happens there. Yeah, I guess the downside is, although I'm not 100% sure, if you remove a Haven Advisor and then put them in again, does that already put them on the, hey, they're not going to do anything for a day, cool down, or are they still going to actually be useful? I think we might just bring exactly the same squad that we just had on that supply raid, as in Vanya, and then the Viper. And you still can't upgrade this, right? The Viper tongue? I want my Viper to have a better tongue, if you know what I mean. Um, what? what are we doing here, though? I'm not opposed to giving you some extra willpower. Power level you up a little bit more. And if we want to have Vicious Bites and actually, you know, deliver those, we probably need more mobility here. So I'll just give you an advanced speed PCS, put you at 
15, that's 10 tiles, that's cool. Um, this is a tough one. Like, first strike is so much damage on a flank, like plus 3 damage, but implacable for more mobility. We can move up, vicious bite, oh, no, move up to vicious bite, realize, hey, just taking a shot is more damage. Take the shot, get the kill, and then implacable we're back. But uh, hang on, what I'm talking about, Vicious Bite is a free action. Which makes it not so terrible, I guess. I've turned cooldown, that's like... Oof. I've turned cooldown sucks. Who, who made this a five turn cooldown? Like... Hmm. Yeah, I like Implacable just way too much. That's like, free damage, meh, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Boom. Sky Ranger deployed in position to drop. Avenger plotting new course. I think we continue uh, going for the faster heal. Or maybe not. Uh, no. Uh, hard pass on that. What's in that? Um, we recruited someone here. I saw that message. You can go on Intel. We just recruited someone, I think, in East Africa. But we're not doing anything just yet. I think... You know, it's time to start running Intel here. Location scout, huh? When the never troop column. Probably time to do what we were just talking about with call in all the banners. I mean, uh, with call, withdraw all the, the Haven advisors. We've got two big missions to set up. And that supply rate might be a little bit too dicey, even with a boost, but we'll see. This was fast, but now assigning them again. Yeah, here's a UI button, and good luck figuring that one out. Um, how to assign Haven advisors? Setting course for Eastern Europe. This takes the highest ranking people from your roster that have 100% willpower and assigns them to a Haven. So, we probably have to ta want to take you because you have the infiltrator perk and all of that. Um, we got a sniper. Got a second sniper. Uh, let's actually give you equipment first here. Yeah.
Uh, here's an interesting question. Don't you have that uh, shatter shot? Then that's the shies. Uh, the, the, shies? <laughs> the ice on a frozen foe. Yeah, why don't you bring the, the frost grenade? See if that does anything for us. Um, no. With that chatter shot, how about we bring the frost bomber on top of that? Okay. It's starting to look pretty cool. Uh, can we somehow fit in somebody small for scouting? Not like this. When we do it with six people, with two weird aliens, questionable. Train maps, so kind of have high ground guaranteed for our hunters. Oh, you actually are my melee hunter. No, you're function fun functionally useless, no. Um, for that mission at least. Um, why don't we bring you and your buddy, if it's available. What, what is this even? Terror rounds. Okay, sure. Oh, I'm shaking. Okay, that gives us. This is this Ebling shot and chain lightning, quick zap chain lightning with an arc blaster. So we do have some control here. We do have saturation fire with butcher. Butcher, 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 butcher. So we've got cyclic here with shredder to deal with armored enemies. We have a snake. Touchable and we have two snipers. Honestly, as much as I want to bring the snake, I think we're better off having some stealth person here. And that might even be our, our shinobi all the way down here. Doing, we're doing uh, interesting equipment choices today here. Yeah.
not super confident about this, but I think we can do this, and I think we, we kind of have to try. Um, I want to get... That's my shorty. The fusion bloody. Please. Bloody hell. Can you imagine if this list was actually sorted? Mm -hmm. Probably have world peace. Uh, anything we want to do with AP. You know what? You're my scout. Get battle space. That's gonna be super helpful. You're sitting on 5 AP with nothing to do. Okay, no, send them. Did I actually equip the, the plasma shorty? I don't even know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we have the troop column here. Setting course for the South African sector. Um, question is, and three days until Rebecca is done with her training, also three days for Rin. I don't think we have another officer, right? Or is our, um, You're infiltrating, Sarah's infiltrating, Rebecca's in training, Yorick's infiltrating. Christina is available. That's technically then here, yeah, Astro, Astro Squad. Yeah, okay. Puts you out of sight training again, but I guess that's just just the way it's gonna be today. Okay, you should like what? Why does he do? Well, why does he still have a tier two grenade launcher? I know he only has a single grenade. That's not acceptable. That grenades for days, shred storm, all the good stuff. Now I just need some some shooting power. Uh, I think we're gonna borrow. Now I really want to test the see if we can have some sort of synergy between the frost bomber and the frost viper, frost adder, whatever.
And let's bring those two here to get the final levels on them. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Um, I will, I'm sure you will find this research as exciting as I am. Priority. Okay, proven ground. Like a flame grenade. Did I ever get around to actually starting the dragon rounds? No, we still don't have that. Pre yeah, because we got bishop corpses, not priest corpses. Bloody clerics. Alright. Boost. 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 And healing. Gene modding a Templar with keep. Which which specific gene mod are you thinking about there? Not sure which gene uh, gene mod is unlocked by the gatekeeper from the top of my head. We have. We're doing bond training for five more days. I kind of don't want to send these guys here, because then we still have at least one more squad available in case a liberation mission shows up. So let's not do covert action. Um, I think we had that in the in the YouTube Long of the Chosen campaign in the last one, where we had like all the um, volt and and other damage increases there on the XCOM row. Um, I might take another look at this. Didn't I just infiltrate what? Let's see here. Do we have two Templars with the same name? Is that is that what's happening? Well that's not gonna cause confusion. I, you're just gonna be um, um, if we go on with, with the protoss thing, then you're just gonna be zero two. Uh, facilities at 78. There's, there's the Berserker Blade Storm. I'm curious to see how often that's gonna screw me over. Okay, we reach 100% somewhere. That troop column over here. Oof. Bio Zerker. 
Salted Custodian Grandmaster, Birch Bishop. Holy crap. Planet hits. Uh, do we, we, we actually have a strong squad for this, right? Yeah. I'm contemplating if I want to over infiltrate that. I need purge priests, not purge bishops. Um, sure, whatever. Fighting abandoned city, okay. Okay, 22 to 24 enemies on a troop column with the same squad we already saw in action earlier today. position. Yeah, the docks. Why do my scouts always start in the back here? Yeah? Orders confirmed. Moving out. Help it, I see a floating floating shipping container. I'm not, yeah, I want my sniper in there. Closing on target position now. Moving out. Numerous aliens are approaching. Well, that didn't, didn't take long to find that guy. And he's grouped with the Perch Bishop. How convenient. Now what I really want to know is... Go my way. Taking position. Enemies within visual range. Okay, okay, okay. Slow it down their game. We can't have three groups all here. That's a little bit Well obviously we can because we're having three groups right here, but I'd prefer not to. you grapple behind this crate up here? Yes, you can. Okay. This could be a very, very uh, discreet sniper position. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, that was terrible. Um, I mean, on the other hand, right? On the other hand, right? So I was saying. 
As I was about to say, this makes for an interesting Saren rocket. Now, the Biozerker will not care about it. The Archon will not care about it. The Chrysalids, uh, not Chrysalids, Celetids. I'm not even sure the Mech will not care about it. And we've got a freaking exalted comedian, custodian grandmaster. Who's just gonna get skull dragged, maybe? Just fire the rocket and see what we get. Uh, we don't have half saturation fire here. That's that's the that's the main issue. I would saturation fire for days if I had any. Yeah, that's kind of the spirit, right? Every mission's a suicide mission. And you'll probably have to reveal here. Well. just I'm just waiting for the right command here to start this with a good old war crimes rocket. Can I get any inspections in chat? Might be on cooldown. Today's an inspection day. Thank you very much. That, that new way of him to, to launch rockets seems weird. It's a little bit unconventional. But it's working. Like he's easy, he has breathing problems. No villain, villain in TV or film has ever been dangerous that had breathing problems. Okay. Uh, who's on our watch? The heavy mech in the back. Alright, I think we're just gonna uh, take the high ground here. Assuming that from that high ground I still see that mech, yes, okay. This mech. That's it. Interesting. Um, 
Um, all right. So who's gonna be in danger here in a second? Um, Mr. The Truth is always in danger because low hit points up there. Okay. Then probably gonna go in there with Finko. Probably gonna find something to do with upstairs. Quitting smoking can't be that hard. I know some people who've done that 20 times. Um, Alright, alright. I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing something here. Take care of this guy. We wanna wanna get rid of this guy though first. Which probably means we wanna get rid of this guy first. Um he has an idea. Of all allies. Now you got my... Uh, okay. Uh, if that feels then like a waste using it now. But I kind of... Even if it just was illogical. I, wanna, I want his ammo to be replenished here. Not turn in. Okay, so when we do that... Are you gonna fly to everybody? Oh boy. Let's come on this dude. Now if we miss the skull mine. I am under fire. Can't you ask a little more sexually? Then don't ask me what my backup plan would have been, but I, I had 100% guaranteed back. No worries. Nothing to be concerned about. But it's classified. <sighs> okay. Now this jerk also has uh, some... Some shielding stuff here. Oh, maybe maybe you actually take care of this guy, and you can take care of. Take care of the commando. And I can even keep you somewhat safe somewhere. Root words work surprisingly well. Um, you know what? I think I pop one shot on that guy over there. Just to, you know, let him know I'm serious about this. That's not really being serious about this. Adjusting aim. You don't see that guy. So I guess this is where the fun begins. Mm. 
Nom 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 nom. Blackable. Would you just die? That would really help me. percent crit that's pretty good let's do that again sometime that's not so ideal though I was just getting warmed up sir he gets kinetic plating from that all right so slowly but surely it's getting a little bit desperate. Um, Pathfinder, okay, that Pathfinder might 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 become a little bit of a problem. Alright, so why, why don't we why don't we start with you then? Am I am I being dumb? I'm being dumb here, right? You immune to fire. Okay. Let's not start with you then. In that case we just fire at the mech. There's no way we get 100% burn on this Pathfinder Frost. Okay, let's just... Let's do this then. Shred the mech, destroy his shields. Make sure our sniper can get a kill. I will do what must be done. Then we're gonna dual strike the bloody destroyer commander here. Get I into teamwork so that you don't stand out there in the open. So we've got a Biozerker who might cause us some issues. Um, an Archon who might go into pinions. An Inferno Viper might do some excited part. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you put points on Flawless Mentally say goodbye to this points already. On my way. Yeah. 
Yeah, so one of those two. <laughs> Astro or Buttsbird, one of them is running. Well, the Inferno Wipe has at least poison, so it has the aim penalty. No, oh, but we still have a kill zone with like six more shots. That's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, you also coming for me? Ooh. Nice. Right there. It's stumbling around by the guard of the vents. Annoying shields. Me, 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 me. Ration smart scanning. It's like the the whole Pathfinder thing, right? They're like, oh, they are the, the high mobility flanking dudes who's really going to mess you up. And he's like, yeah, no, I have 85 aim. I just cheat for cover. What you going to do about it? See if I care. All right, so, uh, I mean, we do have dedication here. So we don't need to care about CCS, Bladestorm, all that shit over here. Vicious Bite needs some sort of, uh, you know, cooldown is reduced if you do X, Y, Z. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, that's Tongue Pull, that's Poison Spit, and this Tongue Grab. Tongue Grab is always grayed out. I get it. Hey guys, why is nobody taking cover here? Suicidal advent. Shake him head. Um, let me actually check something here. Mr. Mr. Vanguard. You're gonna be burning how much longer? Oh, two metals. Oh, okay. You have a stay of execution then. The Devastator. Two metals. So I think. Does anyone still get shields? Inferno uh, Viper. Still has shields from the shield bearer. We might actually just blinding protocol the Inferno Viper. Definitely giving a new shield over there. Well, so the thing is, he has the, the advent scanner that he was using first. It gives him additional aim and crit and damage on flanking shots. So not going for flanks seems like a bit of a waste then, right? Just saying. I mean, 
I'm not complaining. Like He's hitting for 3 damage. On a flank shot, he can probably hit for 12 damage or so. Maybe I am complaining a little bit, but... Uh, anyway, let's get him. Armor still holding. If someone else, I think. Um, yeah, maybe don't want to move into CCS range. Kind of want to see the Pathfinder. Move up here just a little bit. Scooch a little bit closer. Yeah. If you say so. Yeah, if some of feel you won't. So he's burning. He's burning. Uh, I don't have the thing yet where I get free shots against people who are burning, right? I think you're just gonna try to uh, kill this guy. Oh, you have the fucking elevated weapon thing. No, you know, 17 damage on a crit, I'll still take it. Oh, seven reloading. We should do that more often. Okay, who do I have left? I have a logical left, Vanya left, who probably is not in range to do anything super useful. I might just run forward out in the open, shoot that mutant, see what we get from it. Why don't we run you somewhere where you get free free overwatches? Because the Pathfinder has Shadow Step and he doesn't give a crap about that. It's okay, hang on. Here's what we do. Uh, we slither you over here. Kill the Pathfinder. Is, do we just tongue, tongue grab the guy? 99, is that the more guaranteed kill? It's bleeding, it's bleeding, it's fine. 
Okay, but now the, the, the Inferno Viper has flanked. So it should be moving. That means Allergical gets some overwatches. I guess I'll run you down here. So he dies from bleeding, he dies from fire. Three dudes, three overwatches, three, three dead. Just putting all our cards in illogical, that never failed me. Um, the alien classes are a bit of a, I'd say, a hit and miss. There are a few that I kind of like, and a lot that I don't like at all. Uh, okay. Uh, you're almost done here. Probably the biggest downside um, of the alien classes, and I actually mean that, is they don't have voice voices. They're just nameless, soundless soldiers. That also then, to me, makes them lack character. And it's it's such a minor thing, but it's like really it's like God, any, any sort of feedback when I give a command. On my way. I think this is the package. I mean, um, some of the alien class certainly. I would say they they all fall into the category of of interesting. Acknowledged. Taking position. But not necessarily as in useful and interesting. I'm trusting you here. At least um, with the caveat of within my my usual playstyle, I'd. Like some people really love the Berserker, and I think it's it's just a useless waste of a slot in your in your squad. And I think I, both opinions are probably valid, with mine obviously being more valid. But whatever. That's affirmative. I have it covered. Sipati. Good to go. Do you have one match on you? No, I already watched you. Would like a second second stealth protocol here. Acknowledged. Taking position. Yeah. We took a wound here, right? Which sucks, of course. But I think given that activation, five points of damage on assault is an acceptable outcome. Uh, what's even left here now? Yeah, I think like the sectoids are really strong um, with their sonic abilities, obviously.
But, you know, it's like the, the soul creating a bunch of zombies and letting the zombies fight for me or take shots for me. It's like, oh, God, boring, boring to play. It's a mutant group. Let's All right. I might want to not have you here. Let's bring you down here. I don't see enough to make informed decisions here right now. I'm just gonna position ourselves here in this area. Ish. My, my info is all the way over there. Maybe. Get you back away. Glory to the firstborn. They're chilling, they're chilling. I mean, they're activating, but they're chilling. Just doing trick shots today, I feel. So, a plan to assassinate a weird looking alien with scissors. It is good to see you again. Easy, right? Hello, hello there. How are you doing? Look at that. Bunch of enemies that didn't take cover again. Um, here's a question. Can a mutant parry a, a vicious bite? Well, I guess we can't find out because it's on cooldown. You, you took a little bit of an idiot position here, didn't you? I guess that will be okay. They've seen me. It's dead. It has to be dead. Good. This uh, just reminded me of um, there was a discussion about shooty shinobis and someone saying like yeah you don't need lone wolf for the aim because you know you within run you take the flank then you don't need the aim and I'm like do you know enemies have natural defense and tactical sense then you end up in a hit and run flanked enemy position and you have 60% chance to hit like this? Yeah, you still need the aim and you want to have lone wolf. And why can't you, can you not peek around this corner? What the hell? Um, let's, let's see what else we can clean up here. A one and a two. <laughs> I 
Uh, I think we got very much value out of the kill zone at the start of the mission here. I know it's it's kind of, uh, I kind of agree that very rarely you get off six shots as opposed to the three you get with rapid reaction anyway. So who needs kill zone, but no, I kind of I kind of like it. Especially um if you can combine it with like a like a flamethrower opening. And that's uh where also then the the bond pairing comes comes into play. So those two are bonded. So he flamethrowers as a group and then we take kill sh kill zone shots at everybody. Um, just let's just grapple you up. Double tap and go home. Throwing the hook. It's dead. It has to be dead. Definitely Positive got that confirmation. Right. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, it's not flawless, but I think that was a good outcome. be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom and we shall overcome this crisis. Never had any doubts about your capabilities, Commander. Excellent work as always. I guess we have more reason to stay at the Templar HQ and keep scanning for, for healing, huh? There, Salvo. Thank you very much. I might just pick that up before the next mission. I know I'm kind of wasting the four AP you get on your final rank, but I wanna I wanna see the fearsome biggest booms effect. Black flame grenades, more purge priests. Wait, wait, purge priest, purge priest, not bishop. Oh, what the freaking phone! Second rounds. Here we go. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Frame grenade is no longer my best friend. Dragon rounds now now my best friend. Oh, what's next? Facility or supply rate? Probably facility. Hills on Gunners were real fun. Like, you know, when Cyclic Fire completely sucked in, in base Long War 2? Um, like, Hills on Gunners were just, just a lot of fun. But, uh, unfortunately, thankfully, one of those, uh, Cyclic Fire is now something you don't think you can skip reasonably. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's a good liberation timing. Uh, yeah, give me that. Setting course for Sector One, the Arctic.
So I think this is the squad fight, even though Rebecca is in officer training and needs another 16 hours. So I think I'm just gonna steal. Ooh. God, that willpower sucks. We just wait? And it's still a five day timer, right? If we wait for Rebecca. We have infiltrator bonus and, and same squad squad cohesion infiltration bonus. I think it's worth it. Just out of yeah, out of curiosity. So this is all yeah, the roughnecks. With four people, the infiltration time is three days, twenty hours. Okay, let's wait sixteen hours. Carry on. Uh can you do more? Alright, jam it up. So we got a whole fifth person in, and it barely took us 13 hours. If I were to say... Four people... Replacing the Grenadier of Rebecca which saves us 17 hours. Still. Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, can we get a few more carapaces? Let's see. Uh, carapace plating. We actually might want to get a few more tech by techie vests. Forget that the grenade slot grenade does not get multiplied here. Um, excuse me. Send the vortex grenades out with other people. Well, you were injured. I think I want a um, fire grenade for the last slot. Infernal sentry bomb. Do you have any other fun grenades here? I guess black flame when it when it becomes available, but it's not available yet. Control grenade. Yeah, nice one. Um, Okay, we can over infiltrate, maybe even boost a little bit. Uh, no, we have to boost to actually infiltrate. But yeah, so that's that's gonna be six men. 
10 to 12. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. And gets us closer to completing more liberation missions. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, she better recover from her wounds. But, oh no, Natalie, I was going to say, didn't we just send Natalie on a mission? No, it was someone else. Um, that's the alien facility at 100%. Purge Archbishop. Custodian, Source from Argos, Priest, Hunter Drone, yeah, Hunter Drone, no, I never Hunter Drone. There might also be Hunter Drone on the map. So um, my current, current strategy, my current plan here with Liberations, what is this, this weird shadow here? This weird outline? Um, so we have three, four regions liberated. So I'm, I'm at the moment, um, we have like five HQs ready, but I want to be careful that I'm not, you know, let's say I, I assault the HQ over here somewhere, then just the strength greater than five just goes to another region. So, and then I have to, I basically fight it on this mission and then I have to fight it again on this mission and then it gets pushed over here. I would not want you to go there. Is this outline? What? Um, so then strength goes here, then we liberate this, strength goes here. So that's kind of pointless. So um, instead what I'm trying to do is create pockets, like we already have a little pocket here. New Brazil is completely surrounded by liberated regions. If we do the HQ here, anything over five is just outright killed. Now, to be fair, it's not getting higher at the moment because we catch the UFOs. Uh, so the next regions we want to liberate are South Africa and Western US creating a pocket here in Australia, then we can liberate New Australia and wipe it out, right, without it pushing it at somewhere else. And then we'll have to see what other pockets we can create. But yeah, that's the, the general idea here. Okay, um, I'm gonna load into the alien facility. And just to get ready to do a long facility mission, I'm just gonna head over to the bathroom. Uh, we'll be right back. Local resistance forces tipped us to the location of an alien facility tied to the Avatar project operating out of this area. We're going in to shut it down. Permanently. Approach the target and place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Then move to a safe distance for detonation. If we can take out that facility, we might just buy ourselves some time.
So, sorry about the delay there. Hello, world soul. Welcome on in. Avian facility time, which means drone time. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. Our position is masked. That's my background. Actually, bring you over. Orders confirmed on the move. Enemy squad located. Very generous to call that a squad, but okay. But I digress. Roll up, roll up. Everyone, come and see the freak. a nice small rule, but you know, I you, you do probably know that I prefer to take on big groups with the first opening. <clears throat> also maybe, yeah, I kind of want to move towards that little shack here. Loses Yulana's side of the drone, that's not acceptable, unless someone else keeps the drone. Keeps an eye on it. Got it covered. Keep an eye on the drone. Moving to designated position. Going out towards the building, okay. Looks like we have nothing there. Confirmed. Or the snipers. So I'll keep an eye on our free there. That works. EA would never make something like this. For one thing, it would remind them too much of their customer support services. Maybe we have somebody over there to take care of this this little group. I don't know. It's that's just splitting the squad up, asking for trouble. That's the, uh, unfortunately, path of the course for um, I'm just gonna do a faci here. facilities that you have like six, seven Zolo drones on that. What's the second group on the left here? We have two drones over here. Three drones over here. Got a group of hostiles over here. I kinda heard footsteps somewhere here too. Um why is your detection range so much bigger? Who did I have selected? Do you have a smaller detection range? Hmm. Well, we can't really move anywhere um, due to the drones. So there's then the question is: Do we just do we just start blasting?
I get you up there. You see all of that shit over there. You probably acted. Yeah, let's just you know, grapple. Let's see what we got. Got those two drones. I got this crap. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just kill this sidewinder, I think. With the spectre? Well, we're not kidding him. Shoot the spectre. Shoot the spectre, go from there. Panic in that other group. Okay. Yeah, well, that was not part of the plan. That was not part of the plan, and I should have anticipated that and moved your way. Hmm. <clears throat> so I guess this is not the huge problem here, right? So we can just find somewhere where you see the mech. Okay, that might be the bigger problem. Still see it directly, and you don't see it at all. What? I have a bad feeling about this. It's fine. Easy game. The drones are really the last thing on my list to worry about. Eat this. No secondary effects, huh? Um, I need a volunteer to take care of this snake. Someone who's not afraid of being out in the open on the high ground. And who should have checked if they actually have landed aside from there. Okay, yeah, you do. Uh, let's do one of those. Do you not have the shenanigans where this doesn't end your turn? I don't think you do. Okay, so we actually need somebody to kill this stuff. X-ray neutralized. 
You can move in between the kills. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what are you referring to. See if we can get us a, a little drone buddy. Yeah, but the, that sniper's not a master sergeant, so he doesn't have double tap. Uh, the second sniper. I'm kind of, I saw a second group behind that, and I'm a little bit scared. And I kind of wanna, kind of wanna go here. Saturation fire this. And we should actually be able to. S now from this point, I don't actually see the saucer. Or what? From here, I don't see the pathfinder. So this is this is where I see everybody. Well, what's the worst that can happen? Being able to hit all of them. That's a pretty, pretty worst. Pretty terrible. Just somehow... Work with me again. Uh, okay, so who do we have left? Buck, who's kind of out of position to do anything here. Who's teamworked with Spacebar, but only teamwork level 1. But that's okay. That's exactly kind of what we need. Alright, so we steady here. Um, I think we steady here, and then the custodian can probably do something nasty. Or maybe not. And the basic mech. Low yellow alert shots. I've missed you. Oh, we didn't even do a prediction.
not many good targets. Uh, but, I mean, I guess that's a hundred percent, hundred percent. So, good night, sweet prince. By the numbers. I need evac here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. And that's your only target, so we might as well kill that. Well, how about that? Now he's Master Sergeant, now he gets double tap. Cardio isn't one of my strong points, though. Just kill the Mac now, let's just shoot this guy. I miss? I don't understand. No better. Would have known better. Brings me actually in a weird position where I'm not sure how we're killing the custodian. And I probably need a rocket to open up the shots on the rocketeer. Firing rocket. On the side of that guy, too. In there. Good. Moving on. That's exactly the idea. I'm going to command you if I can get line of sight on you. Here I come. Okay. Uh, we're looking for grenades. Not fantastic. But you know what? It's good enough to kill those two. Eat this. Something, something, grenade damage fall off. Not having concealment for the rest of the mission is gonna suck. Moving to designated position. Little does he know I'm about to pop up and shoot back in a minute, just like I've done 17 times already. Okay, so this is the yeah, the kind of map that swings around here with this um, bay that's coming in there, so don't think we have anything else on the left. And that was clearly a misclick, but it's fine. Get 
getting it done. Clear to engage. Yeah, we're gonna use the drone here for scouting uh, for next turn on. Reloaded. I can handle it. Oh, I know full well that you don't have to follow the directions. Roger that, sir. I guess that'll be okay. Whatever. I'm not being the guy left behind. I really wish drones had some sort of overwatch, so that you didn't have to spend both actions when they turn. Got it covered. Time to get some revenge. And a very happy Ogbo Mo show to you and to yours. Um, find me something to deal with. 22... I didn't know Hunter Drones had 22 mobility. What? Or is that, um... Full override giving me additional stats? Yeah, it's... Have a swing over to that side. Heck, if this part of the map is clear, we see a huge group back there. Not in clear, sir. What's over there? Position confirmed. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. So much so for for there's no more enemy there are no more enemies in that corner of the map. City game. How would you do this? Suck on that. Bring up that ablative. Uh, sorry, I missed that question. Yes, the plan is to liberate all the regions. Uh, how long until it's over? Question. Uh, the one thing I already said, um, um, you know, made a mental note of, like, please, whenever I again utter the idea of, hey, we could do a full libera global liberation, please stop me the next time. Like, we're gonna complete it here, but I think this is the, the third and last global liberation campaign that I'll be playing. And XCOM 2. The last global liberation, not the, the last campaign full stop, just the last global liberation. Um, why, do you, why do you all take cover that I can't really... Where do you go where I can't follow? Just... Can you just punch through the cover? With a hearty shot? Uh, 
Let's just check what we what we have on the on the muton here. Sixty nine, nice. Fuck yeah, bio kill. Oh. Wrong game. Which casual crit for forty six. This is so dumb. I love it. Um uh, You're gonna Snake? Not quite, I guess. Only the best. I'm sure they're, they're keeping the good enemies in reserve, right? Hmm. We'll really not get line of sight to that snake somewhere. Did I already study you? No. So you could? We will overcome. You could overcome this. Like, how far back is that snake? Finally. My mind is willing. Looks like this might be it. You can't handle me. Noble liberation, long war one. You mean like? Destroying all the facilities, uh, all the alien bases before assaulting the temple ship. I want to say no, um, but I think I think we did a few extra bases, like more than we needed to do in the in the YouTube campaign. I'm you here. I think there's a weird mechanic in Long War One where. Um, Like, for each base assault you do, right. like, after a certain threshold, Advent gets obnoxiously strong, suddenly. On the move. Moving. Why you would ever not use a gun? What in the how? I'm feeling that um, somebody's is really, really hard putting on my leg here. Uh, Spectre just via osmosis we'll get to the other side of this. Oi. Okay, so first of all, that sentinel is a uh, big old poopy head. Let's rock! Deflection. Fire 
it will. It will ever do to you. No. Can I kind of do it? I don't care about activating that drone. Because I want to I wanna see what's happening here, right? So we move here. Can't avoid being in another side of the sky. Unfortunately, so no shadow thing will bob. Show me the numbers. Show me the numbers. Start. Hate this game. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. What's that even? Advanced priest. Do they, do they come with fireproofness? No. Hmm. I mean, we have, like, there's just four enemies that we haven't activated yet. Maybe we just play Reckless. Uh, even more Reckless now. So one action is definitely going to be a rescue here. I think a second action is then going to be... Oh, I don't see the drone. Okay, I guess... I guess we shut you down. Um, yeah, Illogical should have ever vigilant, and I think we have an Overwatch specialist or two somewhere. You want to test ever vigilance of rescue protocol, I guess. I, I assume. That's, that's just frustrating, isn't it? Alright, you know what? Let me just set the priest on fire. It's fine. Excuse me. Why do you do this? Why do you hit me like this? It feels like your targeting system might be busted. No way you can actually hit that, right? Moving. Go 
got you. We've got you, but I really don't want to go in. Well, you can't go in anyway. Um, who else? We've got you. Honestly, you might just rock at this. Might just have to that's not cover. Uh I smoke over there. Well, that's not 100% what I was hoping for. How did I not see a hit? Well, how is everything here on fire, including this area? But this area is like, no, I don't believe in, in poison. Make things uh, a little bit worse, I would say. Wasn't. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna just quick zap. Stun gun. 25%. Didn't hit. Oh well. Um, yeah, Shots of Adam indeed. Okay, I should suppress this guy. And you'll be happy, little drone. Um, so, the reason with the free re reload ever vigilant um, it's it, it actually can't work. Like, it doesn't work with vanilla, even with reliable ever vigilant. You need the free reload ever um, um, anytime mod, which turns the action of taking a free reload you bastard um and and makes it a distinct action because it's not a distinct action in base xcom 2 or or long war uh, and this way the ever reliable ever vigilant mod can actually capture it I don't think I've ever seen three psionic bombs in a single turn. Some hot drone and drone action here. You have salvo, right? Yes. So I think we're just gonna, against my better judgment, just do that. Don't care about the outcome. Might just create even more clothes.
skedaddle away from that with a second action in a second. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? Like, all the Codex clones make for an exceptional target of um, Reaper, right? On the other hand, that's gonna activate more stuff, and we still have our own poison cloud here to worry about. So I think we take Crazy Eyes and start shooting that that Bio Viper back there, and stop shooting the Bio Viper immediately. Alright, what do we got here? Um, the mech's gonna be stunned one more turn. This guy should probably die from poison and acid and burning. Um, this guy ran into his own cybomb? Well, almost, no. No idea how I deal with you. No idea if what to do with you and the other codex. Okay. Hang on, if I do this, and shoot you, oh, damn it. because I'm cold-blooded, that doesn't cost an action. Wonderful. Also didn't do anything because you freaking missed, but... It's that bloody sentry. I will see like one tile too far away all the time. First time ever that I'm being disappointed by the Plasma Blaster. Um, so we're feeling. If I go in here with a tight strike, are we going to activate more stuff? Possibly. So how did that not destroy this this rock? Things are being weird here. Okay, so I think the decision is that you shoot that codex on the left because otherwise I don't have an answer to it. Now, if you don't hit it, not too shabby. Um, 
I know they were um, definitely inferior in Long War 2, but I haven't probably... I'm not even sure if I used them in Long War 2, to be honest. But I'm, I'm, I'm just at the... Uh, let's give everything where we have uh, preconceived judgments on. Let's give it a good shot. You love to watch me go. Give it a chance to shine. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, just to get rid of this codex and to use the Plasma Blaster. Alright. I like the cover destruction there. That seems... So. Like cover destruction of a tree? That's not something that's kind of guaranteed. Like, even the old Shredstorm Cannon yes, will not reliably do that. Oh. Holy shit, you have the additional vision thing. Um Heading out. Stanis out of the turret. Shit. Affirmative. All right, so we can rescue Protocol Lugia, so I avoid activating these guys here on the next turn. Or we could aid Protocol right, so he doesn't get murdered by the turret. I think that Archbishop's group looked a little bit scarier, so let's just get get Werewolf back. Winky face. You only burned for two, but it's still burning. Okay, still poisoned, kills. Wait, you can fly across that. Turrets.
Okay, those guys work around the corner here, but I really need to get Lana's side on the turret. So let's just do one of these here. Just a minor misstep, I hope. That's dead. Thirty seven on him. Oh, yeah. Not a not a um logical enemy, so he doesn't get the butcher. Okay, so far so good. Not so bad. We know that where the last group is, approximately. I think we can just trigger them probably like this. Why would you run into the building? That's not fair. <clears throat> not quite in range for Skulljack. But he also does some, some annoying stuff, I think, if I remember right. We don't have blinding protocols, we just, you know, shut him up. Maybe this is just a matter of killing everything else and letting him maybe play with the drone or something like that. I don't know. That's much worse than I expected, okay. It's good enough for that guy. Can I get you inside and disorient the priest? No. Maybe just fly here, try to disorient him. Okay, um... Well, let's see if our snipers can take care of the other two guys. Hitting the armor is not good enough. Back in. Got some here. And that's how it's done. Almost had it. Almost. So close. 
Um, now he does have this weird, hey, I just burn everything in my path here, attack. And has like the jumping, jumping, jumping jacks attack. Um, I think just pull back from him. I don't know right now. Come on, time to cowboy up. I mean, worst case, right? We have a specialist with restoration, so we can just um, unfire everybody. If we're like too close, and it's like he's gonna like pew 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 pew. I think that's the original sound effect. The dumb shit. Oh look, it's disoriented. He's functionally useless. Um, he has a question. Do his specials still work that, you know, ruin melee attackers? Who would win? Advent Exalted Purge Archbishop. The the pinnacle of Advent's uh, Cyanic Fighting Force. Or one toaster boy. Does disorientation counter your anti mini stuff? I'd say, well, Scorching Touch still, still works. I'm gonna do it because I want to. Twenty-five glorious weapons to collect and utilize. Got it covered. Interesting hit. Completely useless, but interesting. Understood. Moving out. Over here. Come on. Did we just destroy some sort of cover here? Destroyed them all. Did you look at that? That's a flank shot. Haven't you loved to watch me go? Not watch. I like to watch him go. Sixty-eight only. Not even sixty-nine. Shot with you at you have a hundred percent shot. When you have a shot, we're going to go. 
But you only have 36. But why though? I cover. Oh, you also get high cover and you just don't give a crap. You won't feel a thing. Big uh, crazy eyes has some, some nuts uh, sniping perks. Isn't one of my strong points, though. Seventy-nine. Fuck yeah, bio kill. Oh. Wrong game. Got in. Got in. Got it down. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Like the... Do I throw a new evac here or do I run everybody over? I guess... Yeah, no, sir. Got it. Moving. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Time to go. I thought I thought he was also steadied. And it was just like the additional aim perks from like uh, Shadowborn and whatever else he has. And higher base aim. 103 versus 91. I don't know. Hang on, can I actually evac the drone? No. So I can't actually evac firewall because otherwise the drone gets lost. Uh, let's just wait no turn. Um, hmm? it in. Oh. Pull over right doesn't lose the, the hack effect if the specialist leaves. Ah, well. Fair enough. Menace one five status confirmed. X four charges detonating. officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. I 
think we have one more facility on the map which we haven't found the facility lead for but other than that map's clear um, i'm gonna have can't select it from the screen okay uh, double tap for you 10 ap remaining blend will to survive bah, bah, detonation shot bah. You know what? Take plant. It's kind of, you know, you got in a bad situation. And you at least have concealed and can get out of jail like for two turns. Um, Lugia is over here. And the idea is to give you full kit. So you have more grenades, so you can set enemies on fire more often, so you can benefit from gold blood more. We might actually um, uh, research poison bombs or something like that. I think, um, and except for the regions where we're not running into now, obviously, we have a fairly good chance of finding any uh, facility supply rates, facility construction units. But I think, um, if I remember correctly, there's a facility, I want to say, in West Africa, which we've seen, like, notifications for avatar progress. It's like, oh, yeah, any facility in West Africa. Maybe it was New India, I don't know. Uh, talk about New India, it's down to strength 4, I think we also need to start going full on intel here. Also have 11 people, so that's kinda, kinda a healthy spot to be. Alright, so we have a supply raid actually ready to go. And a troop column almost ready to go, and we have a lib 1 inf starting to infiltrate which actually we still have to boost eventually. So let's just do that now. But that's something for future commander, for future stream to do. We're gonna call it a night here. Yeah? Was it really just three big missions? We did the troop column, the supply rate, and the facility. Wasn't there another one? Maybe two troop columns? I don't even remember anymore. But yeah, uh, let's call it here. Let's have an idle ring. Get the save game, start the music, and say a big old thank you to everybody who was here. You had a good time. Uh, thanks for sharing the evening with me and Watching this campaign slowly but steadily creep towards the big finish where we probably run back to back um, um, headquarter raids for like three streams in a row. Which, you know, could get a little bit repetitive, but I think there's enough uh, variation in the enemies we find. And if, it's, if we're gonna have another 69 enemy headquarters like we had in the last Global Liberation campaign, that was, that was good fun, that mission. Um, on Saturday, we're actually going to have what was supposed to be on last week's Saturday, where that Project Zumbot server I'm playing on would have the new vibe, everything starts from fresh. That didn't happen last weekend, it was postponed to this weekend, so I'm actually going to do that this Saturday, unless there's another delay. So I'm not going to be streaming XCOM, um, but I'm likely going to be streaming then the fresh start on Project Zomboid. Everybody is starting from scratch with a naked character, pretty much. Um, and that's usually fun. Like, the first few days of a new server reset are, are good fun. Um, so, drop on by. It might also not be on the usual time. Like, if the server goes uh, goes live at 4 p.m. instead of my usual starting time of 6 p.m., then we're going to start early. Um, so, we'll see. Um, so next stream of here, XCOM 2 on Monday, and then on YouTube the new campaign continues to surprise me with lucky scan results. Um, so yeah, check that out. Um, cool. 
Let's find somebody to pay a visit to if we want to. Uh, head over to Commander Emily, who's playing some remotes. Certainly nothing about human lever chairs or anything like that. That will never happen. Ethical treatment of um, prisoners probably guaranteed. As it is in the world, right? So yeah, let's head over there if you want. Um, yeah, and I'll be back. Well, on YouTube and on here and, and wherever else. Just, yeah, connect to the Discord. Follow the announcements there, then you'll know what I'm up to. Or, you know, just come over to chat. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, we're just gonna have to chill for a bit while everything gets hot. Hello, Commander Emily. Hey! Der Herr Ava with the raiding party. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing this lovely evening? How was your stream? Chat? I'm pretty sure you all know of Der Ava already. But if perchance you don't, he is an awesome XCOM streamer. And he's playing Long War right now, I believe. Go drop yeah. give him a follow. I'm sure you will enjoy his content. Is the hauling happening? I'm missing water. Um. Yeah, we, we shut that off because there was no um, incompetent cook. We've set the level requirements. Cows choice as yeah. food. Wildlife uh, hunt everything that is still alive. Uh, these guys are gonna go die, so we're just gonna. Butcher them for food. You told everyone that we can expect ethical treatment of prisoners and certainly no human leather armchairs here, right? Uh, I mean, if by ethical you mean forceful conversion to our faith and then forceful recruitment into uh, eternal servitude of this not defo not a cult, then yes, they are getting ethical treatment. Well has become polluted. Okay, but we shut that off. So 